welcome to my channel so today's topic is gonna be on old souls so are you an old soul if you probably landed on this video you might think you are or you might be interested in knowing what an old soul is so basically I'm just gonna be talking about my opinion of what an old soul is through my experiences and just things that made me realize that I was an old soul and then I'll talk a little bit about you know the difference between an old and a new soul okay so um, for me I believe that an old soul is someone who wants a soul that knows that they've been here before so you just have this vibe that you've been here before you know um, and a new soul is someone who just doesn't have that like if it's completely wiped out like they, they just think this is this is it I've only been here once and that's it you know and an old soul you kind of feel like no I've, I've been here before <laughs> so um, I realized that I was an old soul maybe just I've always had that idea like I've always known that I was different you know um, so I've always known that no my views on life are a bit different you know so one of the signs that I realized I was an old soul is that you just feel wise beyond your years like you know are you that deep friend are you that deep friend like when you say something they're like oh oh girl you deep oh you deep <laughs> so um, that's always been me I've always been that deep friend like I've always been that person who just says something and like oh shit that's that's deep you know so you you wise beyond your years like you don't even know why like you just you have wisdom and people come to you sometimes for advice and like I have friends or anyone that comes to me about anything any situation and I can just give them advice freely you know and I won't even even know where it's coming from so more than anything you're wise beyond your years you know that's my number one thing that we realize okay no <laughs> uh -uh. Uh, something is just different about me so yeah you just have wisdom you you have wisdom and it's because you know as I said you're an old soul so an old soul is a, a soul that knows that they've been here before so that you, you kind of know that you've been incarnating and incarnating and incarnating and that's where you probably have gained the wisdom and the knowledge that you spread like you still have the memories somehow of your past life experiences even if you don't know per se like in full detail but you have some type of memory or understanding that hey I've been here before okay and so another trait is that some people will actually even remember their past life experiences so I don't have full detail or full memories of my past life but I've always known that I've had affinities to things that doesn't even make sense right now that I would be interested in you know my number one thing that I've kind of made me put like a question mark was I have like this great affinity to Buddhism which is like you know like I, I don't really have a link to it I, I don't really have a friend that practices Buddhism but like every time I ever see like a Buddhist statue or a temple or you know or seeing Tibet or just any or China or just seeing places where like Buddhism is really practiced like I just have always connected to it somehow you know I've always felt very connected to Buddhism that doesn't make sense right now this incarnation how that would have happened so Clearly in my past life, I probably was into Buddhism or was in, a, in Tibet or any place where Buddhism is really found. Especially when I see like, you know, the temples, it's like, whoa, whoa. you know? Um, so that's one of the reasons. And also I have like a great like affinity to Egypt. And you know, when I see the temples and when I see the symbols and signs you know it like kind of opens my eye a bit you know so you have that maybe like an affinity like you have an affinity to something that is doesn't make sense even to you why you would like it you know and that can be a clue to the fact that you've been here before which means you're an old soul especially if you can remember certain experiences some people actually have memories actually being in a place you know and that can happen even through dreams so if you have any type of understanding or memory or believe in past lives and feel like you've been here before you are an old soul <laughs> okay um and more than anything i feel like old souls just don't follow trends we don't follow trends like we set them but we don't follow them like you've been a part of the crowd for so long so like i think the more 
you incarnate, the more you realize how individualism is so important. So most also don't follow trends. They're not they're not interested. They said them, but they definitely don't follow them. Okay. <laughs> and for me, one thing that made me realize was also is that we don't even follow sometimes like just basic accustomed uh, like practices like religion or or daily chores and daily life living like we do it because we need money but like you don't understand the reason behind it like you you have more everything you take in life is like deep and you want to know the truth or you kind of have an understanding of what's happening you know so most all souls are not really religious in nature like for me i'm more spiritual i would like to say i'm more spiritual and i'm not like specifically religious and practicing religious beliefs but i do believe in a higher power and because i believe more than anything religion is man-made and it's written and it's just a story that someone else told another person and spread but i do believe in universal spirituality and that there's a higher power and that there's god up there and you know not necessarily that it's a he or she but there is a higher power and a higher force so we don't necessarily follow custom man-made beliefs or society things that are deemed normal in society so you're kind of like straying so most hip, most um old souls are like hippies people that are just doing their own thing or have their own or conspiracy theorists or you know independent thinkers or you know you know the people that are out there and just doing their own thing those are usually old souls because we've been there we've done that we've been part of the crowd we followed the, these steps and these measurements and you came out the other side and you're like nah I'm not doing it this time i'm doing my own thing you know so i feel like that's something that's made me realize that i was an old soul okay so another sign that you're an old soul is that you honor deep connections like like we're not interested in the surface connections like I don't just want to know what what you ate, you know, how you doing. No, no, no. Like we want to know, like what happened to you when you were five years old. Like, like what what makes your heart burn? Like you have you interested in deep connections. So that means sometimes that you won't actually have a lot of friends, but the friends that you have are real ones, you know. So that's one thing that we realized. That was all so, and even relationships. You know, we honor intimacy. You know, if you're an old soul, you really honor. The intimacy of it all not just you know having sex with someone but you honor knowing who they are the essence of that being you know so yeah that's something that made me realize that I wasn't also so I mean there's many ways that you can figure it out you know um, even just growing up like I have like these memories when I was small like I would like every time I'm alone in the bathroom I'd like at my hands and I'd be like where am I oh I'd be like why am I here why am I here again like I had like these weird memories and and, and it, it's it's strange if you think about it at first you know but the more research I, I did the more I, I realized and also did some research on reincarnation I, I believed it you know because at the end of the day the one thing I realized is that energy never dies energy never dies it can only be transferred so when you die that's just your your body your body will die your body will go back into the soil your body will die but the inner you your soul the essence of who you are your spirit lives on lives on into other dimensions comes back as another person you know I, I did my research and I realized that yeah I'm definitely an old soul and um, yeah it's just something that I thought was really cool and if you feel like you're an old soul you know maybe you can give me like some comments down there about you know what makes you realize you're an old soul what made you realize you know did you also have similar traits that I'm mentioning or you know what but what else that maybe I didn't mention that you made you realize that you're an old soul okay so yeah that's my video love and light to you guys peace <laughs>